Hi, buddy, and thank you so much for joining me again as we continue talking about success gaps this week. And I'm very excited about this conversation and about the feedback that you guys are giving me. Now, yesterday we talked about knowledge and skills as success gaps. And we say that if you need particular knowledge or particular skills to achieve your level of success, then you have to go for that. Today, I want us to talk about faith and confidence. And the two are almost related, okay? But you know, you can't talk about faith without talking about spirituality because faith is believing in a force that is bigger than yourself, that is God, that is helping you achieve your dreams. It is knowing that when you come to the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because God is on your side. But confidence is different. You know, confidence is a bit psychological. It's about believing in yourself. It's about believing in your capabilities, the capabilities that God has given you. It is about believing that you have what it takes to achieve what you want to achieve, to go through the mission that God has given you. That is confidence. And for me to differentiate between the two, sometimes I like to look at the story of the Israelites. You know, these guys had lived in slavery for hundreds of years. And when the time came for God to rescue them from slavery, he sent Moses. And you know, for them to follow Moses, they needed faith because there was no evidence that they could fight the, the Egyptian army. There was no evidence at all. And these guys go through some crazy patches of life. They go through some very dangerous river. They go through the wilderness. They were following a cloud of fire and a cloud of smoke. You know, they were doing things that you cannot explain with your empirical mind. You know, you cannot explain how water separates in a big river and these guys are going across. You know, that's faith. That is believing that God is on your side and he's walking with you. But there's something very interesting that happens when they get to the edge of the land of promise. And spies are sent to go and look at this land of promise. And they come back with a very positive report and a very negative report. At the same time, the guys say, you know, they are giants in that, that place. Those guys will kill us, you know, and all that. And we have two guys called Caleb and Joshua who, has, who are given a positive story on how the land is fertile and all that. And I want you to realize one thing. that at this particular part of the story, they needed more than faith. God wanted them to have the confidence to enter the land of promise and fight. And guess what? Many of them fell short of this confidence, except Caleb and Joshua. And because of that, they did not enter their land of promise. They all died in the wilderness. And the point that I want to make to you today is that it doesn't really matter what God has in store for you. It doesn't matter. This is like bad news. It doesn't matter how much blessedness God wants to give you. He wanted the Israelites to take the land of promise. That is why he got them from Egypt. But they didn't have the confidence to take it. And this morning, I want to remind you one thing. You can have great faith. But the day your confidence is needed, confidence is needed, and you will need to execute it and go and take your land of promise. Now, two guys can have the same academic qualifications. They can have the same background, the same exposure. But I want to tell you one thing. The guy who has faith and confidence and is willing to act on the two is going to end up achieving more than the guy who doesn't have. Okay? So, buddies, faith and confidence are two success gaps that many of us are having in life. You have the blessedness. You have what it takes. Okay? The land is designated to be yours. The job is designated to be yours. The business is designated to be yours. The spouse is designated to be yours. But guess what? You're lacking confidence. You're lacking faith to go for it. And because of that, I'm sorry to say, you may just die in the wilderness. So today I want you to address your faith and your confidence as two success gaps that many people have, but we do not seem to realize. Thank you so much. We say this year is about making each other better. And thank you for the feedback you've given me. Remember, all of us are on the same journey. None of us has arrived, not even myself. We are all looking for our destinies and trying to make sure that we succeed in our lives. I hope to have you again tomorrow as we continue with this great conversation of success gaps so that we can fill them. Have a great day. Share this with a friend. Let's spread the hope. Let's spread the optimism in this life. And on these online streets, Asante Sana.